Of the great War of the Ring, many songs have been sung and many tales told. The names of heroes like Gandalf the Grey, Aragorn the King, and Frodo the Ringbearer are greatly revered, and rightly so. Yet Sauron's grasp stretched much further than the lands of Gondor and Rohan alone, and his forces might have done great evil in the north of Middle-earth, had a handful of heroes not stood in his path. Their stories, too, deserve to be told. Pay heed now to one such tale, which begins here in the town of Bree, just a few short days before Frodo arrived on his quest. Aragorn. Enadon. Well met. And in company with Andriel of Rivendell and Farin of Erebor. An unlikely trio to find walking through the doors of the Prancing Pony. You were at Sarn Ford last I knew. Do you bear news from Harbalad? Yes. Grim news. I feared it would be so. Quickly, tell me what has happened, but keep your voices low. There are unfriendly ears, even here in Bree. Three days passed. The guard at Son Ford was attacked by nine black riders. We were overwhelmed, and the enemy passed into the Shire. This is worse than I imagined. I know these riders. It is from Mordor they come. Our folk could not hope to stand against the Nine together. How bad were our losses? Very bad. We tried to resist them, but they were surrounded by an aura of unnatural dread. There is more you should know. After the rout, one of the Black Riders met with an ally, a man of great malice and power. Master commanded. I have stirred up the orcs of the mountains. Even now, I have a force gathering amid the ruins of old Fornost. Return at once and prepare your forces. We will have need of them soon. My orcs will be ready. These lands have known peace for too long. They will soon feel the Dark Lord's wrath. If this Agandaur has a force at Fornost, then our position grows all the more desperate. But why all this force against the peaceful halflings? It can't be the enemy sees them as a threat. I will say this much. There is a hobbit of the Shire who should be coming this way with a great burden. If it falls into the hands of the enemy, it will mean doom for us all. Now this hobbit is adrift on the road with enemies all around. I must find him before they do. And I need you to help me keep him safe. You are my chieftain. I will gladly do whatever you command. I, I'm a part of this now as well. Then we three are of one mind. How can we aid you? We must reduce the threat from the enemies gathered at Fornost. Travel there and do whatever you can to keep the enemy's eye turned towards you and away from the Shire. Perhaps we will have help in this task. Eladan and Elro here were in the north when last I heard. Any gathering of the enemy is certain to attract their attention. Good. You can find no better allies than the sons of Elrond half elven I hope we meet. But with or without help, the enemy will be kept busy. We'll make sure of that. I'd like to ask you a few questions, Aragorn. Shh. Here in Bree, there is no Aragorn. Only Strider the Ranger. 
Why hide your true name? Surely it's a name to be proud of. The Dark Lord in Mordor would not be pleased to know that Isildur's heir still lives. The time is not right for Aragorn, son of Arathorn, to stand revealed to the world. For now, I am simply Strider. Those things that attacked us at Sarn Ford, those Black Riders, I've never seen anything like them before. What are they? Do you not know them? There are whispered tales and legends enough that tell of them. They are the Nine, the Ring Wraiths. Of all the servants of the enemy, they are the most feared. This Agendauer, he was no Wraith. He seemed like a man. One filled with dark power, maybe, but a man all the same. But what kind of man would serve the Dark Lord? Not all the Dark Lord's servants are wraiths and orcs. There have been and still are many men, warriors and kings that walk alive under the sun, and yet are under his sway, willing or unwilling. Tell me about this place, Fornost. Fornost was once a great city, the capital of the Dúnedain kingdom of Arnor. It fell to the Witch King long ago. The men of Gondor and the Elves formed an alliance that drove the Witch King out, but Fornost was never rebuilt. The ruins remain a place of dread for many. The men of Bree call it Dead Man's Dyke and fear to go near. It is a perfect place for our enemies to gather in secret. What about this man who met with the Black Riders, this Agendauer? What do you make of him? Some servant of the Dark Lord and by his name, one to be feared. His presence in the North bodes ill for us all, but I'm glad you discovered it. At least now we are forewarned. What is it about his name that tells you he is someone to fear? That name is from a language few now speak, but it was once the native tongue of my ancestors, the men of Numenor. Are you telling me that Agendauer is one of your kin? Yes, but only distantly related. While the forebearers of the Dúnedain rejected the lies of the Dark Lord, not all of the men of Númenor did so. Many were enticed by his promises of power. Their descendants serve him still. Many are great warriors and sorcerers, but they are consumed by darkness. We know them as the Black Númenóreans. I fear this Agendauer may prove a foe as deadly as the Black Riders themselves. What will you do now? I will continue the search for the hobbit I spoke of. I've already scoured the road between here and the Shire, but found no trace of him. I fear he may have left the road, perhaps to escape pursuit. My hope now is that he will make his way here to Bree, the only safe haven for many miles. But if he does not appear soon, I will take to the road again in search of him. Should the enemy at Fornos join in the hunt? Well, you understand just how grim our chances will become. I need you to prevent that. Go to Fornos. Take the fight to them. We will do all we can. Farewell. <laughs>